Um, first, I'd like to thank New Schools Project for inviting me to share my story with you. I realize that a lot of work has gone into forming the path I've taken, and I appreciate all of the people who have helped me get to where I am. December 1st, 2011, I refreshed my email for the thousandth time that day to realize that my dreams had come to fruition. The word congratulations jumped off the screen. After reading the same sentence three times, I had to let go of a squeal. I'm officially Princeton bound. Other people dream of getting married, having babies, and buying a house. But since I was introduced to the shadowy concept of college, I've dreamed of attending and of taking part in this one magical thing that would somehow allow me to work my way toward a stable and secure life. Looking back, I realize that I've spent a lot of time pushing my way over, around, and through obstacles while working toward my goals. My journey to the Ivy League is not like that of the majority of Harvard or Princeton incoming freshmen. I was raised by a single mother with my younger half-brother. Until I was six, I thought that alcoholism and drug use were the norm. I thought that hurtful, abusive relationships were commonplace. And I thought that life had to be a constant turmoil. Moving from small town to small towns and state to state, makes it difficult to form lasting relationships that could have given me a healthier and more positive view of life. I coped by slipping into worlds opened by popular fiction, reading about the magical world of Harry Potter or the miserable lives of the Baudelaire orphans put my life on hold for a while. By the time I hit middle school, I discovered an almost feverish passion for academics. Maybe because school allowed me to get away from home or maybe because classwork was something I could do correctly. I applied and entered Cobble Early College High School as a freshman because I knew I couldn't pay for college on my own. But the early college turned out to be more than just a way to pay for an education. High school was a new ball of wax for me. I was used to and enjoyed the traditional classroom learning style with lectures and tests. My school uses team-based and project-based learning with a lot of group work and presentations which was very difficult for an independent worker like me to adjust to. When a new group project was introduced, a small part of my soul always died. <laughs> <laughs> but I recognized the non-traditional high school classes helped me broaden my learning styles and communication abilities by giving me experiences working with others. My school, Cobble Early College High School, became a support system. My school gave me confidence, my school helped me realize my dreams. Cobble Early College has been a blessing for me and has helped me to understand what college can mean and what it can do for a person. My classes have taught me to take responsibility for my own education, ask questions when I'm experiencing difficulty, and enjoy learning on an independent and college-based level. Three years ago, another move loomed on the horizon. With the financial wolf at the door, my mom had to relocate again. Not a move to a nearby county, not even a move within the state. A move that would take us out of North Carolina and away from Lenore, Cobble County, and Cobble Early College High School. But I had a choice to make, and not wanting to leave my school, I chose to move in with a friend and continue attending Cobble Early College. Though the decision hurt, it was a good one. My acceptance into Princeton has become one of those defining moments. You know, everything I've experienced suddenly falls under BPA before Princeton admission <laughs> or APA after Princeton admission. I'm no longer the slightly odd, slightly surly girl who always sits in the second row and can't stop herself from vomiting answers to every question presented by the teacher in class. People suddenly treat me differently and it's weird because I was actually okay with being treated like a number. Throughout my journey, I discovered that when we lose sight of our dreams, we lose hope. I've been depressed, and I've been racked with anxiety. I've wanted to give up. When I was little, listening to fight after argument after fight, I made preparation lists for the day I would run away. 
When I was older, I thought about drinking or snorting myself into oblivion. But for one reason or another, I didn't. And I learned what it was like to survive one day, then survive one day, then survive one day until I reached my goals. The work that you are doing in your school helps your students reach their own goals as well. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your coffee.